Hey folks, this is Dr. Desai here. I wanted to do a quick video on donning and doffing of the 3M respirators that we have for our crews. Uh, this is during the COVID pandemic of 2020, 2019, and 2020. And I just wanted to kind of make sure everyone has a good idea on how to don and doff this thing so you don't contaminate yourself. And of course, this is a reusable mask. We can completely disinfect it after use. And I wanted to show you guys some, some techniques to how you can properly disinfect it without contaminating yourself. So the first thing you want to do before putting this mask on, you always want to wear some clean gloves. And hopefully when you're donning it for the first time or donning it ever, it's after you've already disinfected it. So you're going to grab it and you put the halo piece around your head and then adjust the neck straps to properly snap behind you. Now I have taken off the filter cartridges that way you can actually hear me speak but normally your filter cartridges would be on the sides of the mask. And so after you've put the mask on, you want to remove your gloves if you're done providing care, and you want to perform hand hygiene. Now, to go over removing the mask, first thing you want to do, hand hygiene, put on a clean pair of gloves, okay? And the first thing you're going to do is unsnap, unsnap the neck straps from around your neck, and then rather than grabbing the actual front of the mask, which is considered contaminated after you've had patient contact, you want to grab it from the top halo and pull it off of you as such. Therefore, you never actually touch any part of the front of the mask, which is, again, considered contaminated if you've ran on a potential COVID patient. So as you're holding it, from the top, what you can do is you can grab both aspects of the, the halo aspect and get a clean wipe. I'm just using a paper towel here for the sake of conserving our, our disinfectant wipes, but get a disinfectant wipe and begin to wipe the outer surface of the mask itself. And mainly if you can disinfect the bottom of the mask first, that will allow you to grasp the mask from the bottom at this point and then you can wipe the rest of the mask and completely disinfect all the components of it. Now remember, you're gonna have your filter cartridge boxes right here. You don't wanna actually wipe the filter aspect, but it's okay to wipe the cartridge, the outer portion of the cartridge, as that's just all plastic as well. And then again, you wanna wipe everything down until it's nice and, and soaked in disinfection. Same thing, you can also take your straps and wipe the elastic straps down as well. And then lastly, you can also wipe the halo aspect of your mask. Now, hopefully you didn't touch the inside of your mask. You, always, you never wanna to touch the inside of your mask, but I know sometimes it's difficult to not get your inside of your mask touch. So if you did actually touch the inside, then what I recommend is you wipe the whole outside of your mask. At this point, place it on disinfected clean surface, change your gloves, put on clean gloves, and hold your mask on the outside with your clean gloves. And now you can take a fresh disinfectant wipe, not the same one, you can get a second one, and then wipe the inside of your mask. Okay, and, and it's probably a good idea to do this on a periodic basis, even if you've been very careful and you haven't touched the inside of the mask, because you're breathing in the mask, it tends to get sweaty in there, it's hot, and you want to just make sure you're cleaning this out. And if you look, there's, there's a silicone edge. You want to make sure you pull the edge out and you also wipe behind the silicone edge and you get all the way into the corners. That way you're disinfecting this thing all the way inside out. Okay, um, and then you basically you want to set it down or hang it on a completely disinfected surface and allow it to air dry. All right, a um, couple of pointers on using this mask. Remember, 
the the cartridge the filter cartridges can screw on and screw off I would recommend keeping it on that way you don't wear out any of the gaskets or accidentally cause the plastic attachment pieces to wear out to the point where it won't attach anymore the second thing in order to get a proper seal you need to be clean shaven these things will not seal with any sort of facial hair so you really need to consider being clean shaven in order to get an appropriate seal and get the protection that you need um, and then lastly when you have the mask on and if you're if you're dealing with a patient i understand not all of our patients are are going to be covid patients but particularly if you're dealing with a covid patient a potential covid patient you want to be very careful not to touch the outside of your mask okay because it is considered contaminated now if you do accidentally you know you need to adjust your mask or you need to move something to have it sit properly then be sure you do hand hygiene before and make sure you do hand hygiene immediately afterwards so you don't contaminate anywhere else on your body or any other surfaces. But in general, try to make sure your mask is fitted comfortably prior to making contact with the patient and then try to avoid making any contact with the outside of the mask if you're transporting or have been in contact with a potential COVID patient. Um, these masks are reusable, the cartridges will last. If you start noticing difficulty breathing or it becomes difficult to breathe, that's the first sign that a cartridge needs to be changed. However, these cartridges are designed to be used in elements that have very high particulate matter in the air. And we're seldom in these sorts of areas. So these masks should last us a pretty good long while before they need any sort of replacement filters on it. Um, that's all I have. If you guys have any questions, please feel to reach out to me and be safe and keep yourselves protected. Uh, remember our policy, we want you guys wearing these masks on every call, whether it's a COVID patient or not. And that's mainly because as frontline workers, we are exposed to not only the patient, but also everyone else that may be in the household. And although our patient may not have any symptoms of COVID, you never know who else is in the household. You never know what symptoms they have. And so in order to keep ourselves protected, I recommend you wear this mask on every call that you run and be protected. Nothing that's meant to protect you, keep you safe is, is necessarily comfortable. And I understand as the weather warms up, these masks are gonna be, they're gonna be difficult to wear. They're, it, it gets hot, it gets sweaty. You have to talk much louder. But again, guys, this is to keep you protected, keep you safe, and get you home to your families and keep your family safe as well. So please utilize these masks on every call and keep yourself safe and protected. Um, that's all I have. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me via email, call me, or leave a, leave a question in the comments and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you.